And I'm gonna go from here because it's way too bright in here despite me deploying the curtains. Uh, Hi, I'm Martin. This is Not Enough Tech. Uh, we're here, we gathered here today to talk about printer and the three reality printer I built a couple of weeks back. Now, one of the things I really, really wanted to have is uh, Octoprint, which I obviously have deployed and it is running with my uh, 3D printer. Now, the 3D printer has a couple of upgrades already, so I have a mobile notification system that will tell you all about uh, print progress, the cost, etc. But also there is a Sonoff to turn the printer on and off when it's no longer needed. Now many of people actually linked the Octoprint to the main power supply. And this is not something I've liked because I like to cut the power supply off when it's not in use. And obviously if you have an Octoprint linked to that, uh, you will no longer be able to uh, connect to Octoprint. So what I've done is, so you've got, I've got in here, I can just delete the file in here and the printer is going to turn off. However, my Octoprint still is there. So what's going on? Uh, I've spliced the power supply and I've added additional supply for the Octoprint instead. And uh, the power supply is very small, as you can see. And uh, well, it's a three amp, so I'm a, I am able to power up the display in, on the uh, 3D printer, uh, camera, and uh, a Raspberry Pi running Octoprint 2. So I'll show you how it's done. And this is a great, way of actually just making sure you always have access to Octoprint uh, while the printer isn't using a lot of power. So this is the starting question, a switching power supply, which I'm going to use. It's 5 volts and 3 amps. You only need a, a micro USB cable, which again, let's splice it. This is just a power cable, so I have two wires. If you have a proper USB, they have a, it's going to be four wires. Uh, I've secured ends uh, using a bit of solder and connected that to a low voltage end. So that's V plus and minus uh, reference on the switching power supply. Now that's going to go on one side and obviously on the other side, I'm just going to screw the proper um, main gauge wire. So it would transfer 220 volts in my area to the switching power supply. So once the terminals are secured, I'm ready to do the same with the other end. Just uh, uh, splice a bit of wire, uh, secure it and connect it to a plug. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to solder both wires together to create a single connection and slot them in into the sun of that way the connections aren't anywhere else but inside the sun of shell. Now on the 3D printer, I've placed it the son of shell uh, onto the power supply using 3M tape and I use uh, a spare screw that came with the end 3 printer to secure the additional switching power supply to the bottom rail. There's a nice place in there and all I have to do is just to modify the cable length to suit um, the custom length I needed. So I've spliced it again, uh, fit the power main power supplies into the correct sockets just be careful and always make sure the power is off and then once the job is was done it was uh, time to connect the raspberry pi with the newly created usb wire and that's it, pretty much it once you power it on you can control the printer separately while your octoprint runs thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that small but very practical upgrade to the 3d printer uh, you can uh, read more about it in the description of this video there's going to be parts by and the article as well are linked for you so if you're interested what i'm coming up next you want to read about uh, uh, further upgrades including a 180 degree time lapse uh, then follow me on social media or subscribe to my channel i'll be posting about it soon as for now guys Thanks so much for watching. I gotta go because it's incredibly bright in here and I barely can see anything. So, take care. Bye.